It's that time of year where children are headed back to school or are moving from one age group class to another. You'll have some that are so excited and some that are not so excited. So what do you do? How can you make the arrival time pleasant and comfortable for all, but especially for those students that are having a difficult time with that transition? Well, let's talk about it. Hi there, if you're a subscriber here, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. And my name is Miss Celeste, and I help new preschool teachers create efficient systems and processes for effective classroom management. And you can find a new video here every other Wednesday. If you find something in this video or any of the other videos that you can use in your classroom, go ahead and give it a like. And if the videos give you some aha moments, go ahead and subscribe and share the video with other new preschool teachers. Now, let's get into it. When I was preparing this topic, I always I had one child in mind and, and there were lots of children in various classes that I've worked in, but the, this one child stuck out the most and it was because it was the crying was most of the morning. Like it wasn't like, you know, crying for like a few moments after mom or dad left. Thinking about that and thinking about like all the things that I did and my partner teacher did to make sure that she was okay, that she was fine. It's funny how something like that can stick out in your mind. And I just thought that, you know what? There are a lot of new teachers that could use some tips that could help them through this kind of trying time for the child, <laughs> for the class, and for you. So I want to give you some tips that have worked for me in the past and that I think that you could find some success with it as well. First, I'm going to give you some general tips and then I'm going to give you a few extra tips after that. So the general tips. Have some inviting background music in playing in the class while the children are coming in. Maybe something familiar, maybe something that can just express that this is a, a happy place, that this is a welcoming place, that this is a fun place for them to be. Music can definitely change the atmosphere in a room. And that's why we don't have like fast music during nap time because we're trying to create this atmosphere. So do the same thing for arrival time. Create the atmosphere that you want in the classroom. If you want it upbeat and cheerful and stuff like that, then make sure that your music reflects that. You want to make sure that you're greeting the children. You are getting down to their level, or if that's possible, and also trying to engage them in a conversation, whether it's about something that they brought with them to school or something that they're wearing, or just saying that you're happy that they're there and that you are looking forward to you know being their teacher for the year making it personal with them as you are also introducing yourself to the parents as well another general tip is sharing with them what they can do in the areas that you have open or the tables that you have open and the various different activities that you have available make sure that you are letting them know okay this is what this table is and and so on and so forth go throughout just so that they're not standing there like okay well what can i do make sure that you are you know showing them maybe even sitting down with them and playing with with it for a little while you're also engaging them in conversations and trying to get their mind off of the fact that their parent is not there <laughs> and that they're there with this new person and surrounded by new you know, children, and not only are you planting seeds, uh, relationship building, but you're also modeling the expectations that you will be going over later that day. Allow them to have their lovey. If they have brought a lovey with them, a stuffed animal for anyone who doesn't know, maybe allow them to have that lovey with them for that part of the morning or, you know, for that part of the week that they can you know at least have something that will help them you know try to get more comfortable in the new environment that they're in this next general tip is something that works like a charm <laughs> the child that i was thinking about when i was working on this topic it worked every single time no matter how upset she came into the room how clingy she was to her her mom or her dad doing this worked every single time and it was almost um, automatic when the parent passed off the child we took the child and we did certain things right away just to like cut out that time where she got to like realize okay my mom is not here so that thing is having that child be your helper 
yes even on the first day and I don't mean like in a sense where you're breaking out the helper chart and putting their name on something I mean just getting them involved like oh can you help me choose the next song or the next CD I kind of you know and just make it like a big deal that they get to do this like, I want to change the music can you please help me pick the next CD or the next song or whatever which one should we use and both of them are fine but you ask them which one should we use today should we use this one or should we use that one that always worked giving them something that you can have them do that's not gonna take too much explaining will definitely get their mind off of it and then they'll feel even more comfortable and a part of this classroom community try the helper thing to hear more about arrival times schedules routines and more join my facebook group to get my back to school jumpstart challenge recordings while they are still available the link is in the description so now that the general tips are done i want to give you a couple a few more specific ones so tip one would be to use the schedule you're utilizing the schedule because it's not just decoration it's supposed to be functional maybe have some type of marker arrow or something that you can move to show the children what has taken place and what will happen next and explain to them each item on that schedule and then let them know that when we get here this is when we pack up and we get ready to go home so if they're if they see it then they can actually see like their day ending and that could also <laughs> that could also give them some comfort especially for those children who are having a hard time just seeing that okay the day is moving it's not just you know standing still that we're actually moving along and things are happening and I'm getting closer to when I can see my parents again so make sure that you are using that schedule and that it's not just there for decoration another tip is making sure that you are working with your partner teacher if you're team teaching or if you have an assistant in your room make sure that you are communicating with each other to come up with a plan for when you will have these kind of situations where you are trying to comfort children and then watching out for the other children that are also working in the classroom. Make sure that you are both on the same page. So this is a conversation that you should have before the children get there. And I don't mean the morning of, I mean like, you know, during like orientation week or whenever you two get together, make sure that you are deciding, okay, what are the things that we can do to comfort this child? So just compile a list of things that you can try. Another tip is working with the parent. So when I say working with the parent, I mean giving them suggestions and also getting suggestions from them. Giving suggestions would be, for instance, like letting them know gently that it's probably best that they decrease the amount of time that in the morning that they're spending at drop off time with their child just to make it easier for the child to like begin their day so um give them grace like the first day i usually just that's fine but then just let them know as a, a message to all the parents not just you know the ones that are having a difficult time but letting them know that what your policy would be to make sure that they are decreasing the amount of time that they are spending in the classroom at drop off and then you make sure that you are receptive to some suggestions that the parents could offer also. This next tip piggybacks off of the last tip of working with the parents. And that is reaching out before school starts if possible. Reaching out to them by email or by phone call or, or even by Zoom now so that you can introduce yourself to them and to the child and then maybe you know just have a quick conversation about the first day or whatever like what can they expect and maybe what the child can expect so the child gets to see you or hear you and the parent does as well it's um it's like going that extra step to make the child feel comfortable when they get there so i suggest doing this if you have a partner teacher or if you're working with someone in the classroom, making sure that both of you are on camera or both of you are on the extension talking to that parent and child. I mean, it's just it's just nice. It's an extra added touch. I love that this channel is growing and I want to make sure that I am creating content that meets your needs right where you are. 
So please fill out a quick survey about your teaching journey so far. No emails necessary. And the link is in the comments. Keep in mind that things will get better. The first week of school is usually the hardest on the child, but once they start to get to know the children in the class, get to know the routine, make sure that you are creating the classroom and planting seeds for community in your classroom so that they will eventually not have these feelings of fear when they get dropped off. Just keep at it and it will it will definitely get better. My little friend that cried for most of the morning, she eventually stopped. It may take longer for some children than others, but that's okay, that's their process. Just keep at it. Making sure that they know that you're there and that they can trust you and be comfortable around you. So it will get better. In most circumstances, this is the first time that they are ever in a school. And you just wanna make sure that you are warm and as welcoming as possible. Use this time to enjoy and build relationships with trust and comfort. And pretty soon, the crying during arrival time will be a thing of the past. So I hope these tips help. I hope there's something here that you can grab. And in the comments, let me know what you will try in your classroom. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with other new preschool teachers. And also make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you know when the next video has been posted. Until then, I will see you soon. Bye.